The coffee is black. The robot is very, very frisky. <laughs> and I'd like to welcome you to the Wednesday, August 27th edition of Mauling Blog Daily, where Bill just kind of rants with a cup of joe. And today I'm going to rant on a magnificent model. Uh, it, it's a, it's called, I call Big Steam Engine with Sound. I, I covered this on my formal review. It, it's basically a Ram Track soundboard in the boiler of this steam engine that I designed myself. I'll show it to you on the factory site in a minute. And the 9 volt battery, the speaker, which you can see right there, and the switch, which you can see right there in the coal car and it even has uh, a little engineer dangling from the coal car <laughs> live television guys <laughs> live video as you move this slow See, as you pick up the speed, it sounds just like a steam engine, guys. The slower it goes, the slower the effect. Then as it goes slow, it, it ramps up. So it's really, really way cool. This would be a wonderful addition for any Lego train enthusiast. Uh, I want to show you I, on my other video. I, I I flipped up the car to show you uh, the sensor, and you can see the sensor right there. See that magnet? That's a little magnet that I epoxied to the inside of the wheel, and every time that you move it past the sensor, it makes a steam sound it it's a wonderful wonderful thing I have been into trains all my life I love I I love the uh, the field I do a lot of reading uh, I got this in the other day this is an American flyer a catalog for the Gilbert line we as kids used to have Dad put up a, a magnificent train uh, set up every every Christmas, and we had uh, had trains, and we had the we had both this engine right here and the silver bullet. That was my train right there, the silver bullet. My brother had the had the other one, but they uh, they were really wonderful, wonderful. Uh, things for kids to have and as soon as Lego came out with the trains I, I ended up buying them all well I wanted to make a steam sound a choo-choo sound for a, a steam engine but I found out that all of the engines were too small so that means that what I had to do was I had to uh, design my own and so what you see right here is my version of a steam engine that's a little big. It, it might appear to be too big, but it's really not. They, they actually made very large Baldwin steam engines with double boilers. And this was a double boiler. And I wanted it big enough so I could put the PC card in the base. This is a Ram track analog sound device. It's called a steam engine sound. It's sold by Walters. The Walters part is 616-51 page 830 of the 2008 um, HO manual and you can see it's got a battery clip, a speaker and then a PC board with a pickup, a magnetic pickup. Well, the problem was the PC board just wouldn't fit in, in any of the engines that Lego made because the engines were all, the housings were too small for the PC board. So I designed my own. And 
matter of fact it it was actually the first design in the factory and and you can see right there I brought it into the digital designer you can download this file if you want all you have to do is uh, go on the Lego factory site and search for uh, my uh, my ID which is is planner P L A N N E R and then you can download this this is in the old format but you can still see the design and if you look closely right below the cab see that hole underneath the belly of the of the engine well that's the space where I, I had to have a, a large space to put the uh, to put the PC board so the the PC board resides in the base of the engine then that wire that you saw that uh, multi-colored strand wire goes to the magnetic pickup which I run under the cab to a wheel and I showed you that on the video how it, it, it set up in the back I have a switch and then I have a speaker and a 9 volt battery the I did make one change to the uh, uh, I, I, uh oh I've got to make sure he doesn't good <laughs> didn't crash the speaker I, I modified the speaker I put in a larger speaker uh, I went to Radio Shack and bought a, a, a slightly larger speaker but you can see from the the picture there that it's a pretty small speaker but it it, it might not sound uh, to put very much sound up but I mean it you don't want it to be distracting and it's to scale and it sounds realistic so if you're into the trains I would recommend that you get on the the Lego factory you download my big steam and my coal car from the factory site again the the name I use is planner p-l-a-n-n-e-r make the mods you need to get it into the current rev and then uh, build it up order that Walther's steam engine sound for $49.95 I think when I bought this thing several years ago it was only $30 so the prices have gone up and uh, and you'll have yourself a, a wonderful uh, addition to a, a, a Lego train layout absolutely wonderful Bill and Red had a very sleepy 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 robot Wish for you and yours to have a wonderful day ahead. And my robot snores. Sayonara, friend. Sayonara.